Hi artists, it's Miss Lee, and today we're going to be reading Nico Draws a Feeling by Bob Ratzka and illustrated by Simone Shin. And then I'm going to pose a challenge for you. Nico Draws a Feeling. Nico loved to make pictures. Everywhere he went, he carried a box of colored pencils and a pad of paper. Because everywhere he looked, he saw something that inspired him. It might be a mother bird building her nest, or the low autumn sun peeking out from behind a cloud, or the ice cream truck ringling down the street. When Nico was inspired, it felt like a window opening in his brain. An idea would flit through the window like a butterfly fluttering down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his pencils, where it would escape onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. It was a wonderful feeling and Nico tried to capture it as often as he could. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his friends. What is it? One of them would ask. It's the ringling of the ice cream truck, Nico would answer. It doesn't look like the ice cream truck, someone would say. Well, it's not the ice cream truck, Nico would explain. It's the ringling. Well, where's the bell? It's not the bell, it's the ringling. I don't get it. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his parents. What is it? His mother would ask. It's the warm of the sun on my face, Nico would answer. Well, I don't see the sun, his dad would say. It's not the sun, it's the warm. Well, where's your face? It's not my face, it's the warm. Oh, oh. once he showed a picture to his teacher, Miss Reed. What is it? Miss Reed asked. It's the hard work of a mother robin building her nest, Nico answered. Well, where's the robin? It's not a robin, it's her hard work. So this is the nest? It's not the nest, it's her hard work. I see, but Miss Reed didn't see. None of them did. One night, Nico sat on his bed thinking about all the pictures taped to his walls. Then he looked at himself in the mirror. He was inspired to make another picture, only this one he taped to the back of his door where no one else could see it. The next day, Nico was heading out with his paper and colored pencils when he noticed a moving truck next door and a girl about his age. Hi, said the girl. I'm Iris. I'm Nico. Hi. What are you doing with that stuff? This? Uh, nothing. Are you going to draw? Well, yeah, I like to make pictures. Can I see them? I don't know, he said. You might not like them. But I might, Iris answered. Nico decided it would be rude to say no, so he invited Iris over. When they got to his room, Nico waited for her questions. But she just looked and looked. Finally, after looking at every picture in the room, Iris discovered the one behind the door. Wow, said Iris. What, said Nico. You must have been sad when you made this picture. Well, how did you know? Iris thought. It looks like how I feel. You know, sad because I had to move. Suddenly, Nico felt a window opening in his brain. Can I make a picture for you, asked Nico. For me? Sure, said Iris. Like a butterfly, an idea flitted through the open window, fluttered down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his colored pencils, where it escaped onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. When he was finished, he handed the picture to Iris. This time, Nico asked the question, What is it? Iris looked at the picture for a long time without saying a word. At last, she looked up at Nico. I'm not sure exactly, but... It makes me feel like I made a new friend. Nico stared at Iris. You can see that? I can feel it, she replied, like a butterfly landing on my finger. A butterfly, asked Nico. I know, it sounds weird. Nico smiled. Not to me. The end. So today, boys and girls, we are going to be learning about an artist who is an abstract expressionist, and his name is George Morrison. We're going to be learning about George Morrison. He was an abstract expressionist artist. 
He was from the Grand Portage area, and he was a member of the Grand Portage Chippewa Band. He's known for interpreting landscapes in an abstract way. So abstract art is art that doesn't try to represent objects or things to match visual reality. Instead, abstract artists use the elements of art like line, shape, form, value, texture, and space to convey ideas or emotions. George Morrison said, I seek the power of the rock, the magic of the water, the beliefs of the tree, the color of the wind, and the mystery of the horizon. Now, like Nico from the story, Morrison's art uses lines, shapes, and color to convey a mood or a feeling. Sometimes it seems scattered, like this one, and other times his artwork showed more unifying line shapes and colors. And each of his drawings and paintings conveys a different mood or feeling. So your challenge for this choice is to take an abstract idea. In the book, Nico draws things like the warmth of the sun on his face without drawing the sun or his face or the ringling of the ice cream truck without actually drawing the ice cream truck. And as George Morrison said, he looks to show power from rocks without actually painting rocks or magic of water. How would you show magic in an artwork? So if you need art words or words, abstract words to make your artwork from, you can choose from these four words, power, magic, warmth, and mystery. How can you show these abstract ideas in an artwork using just line, shape, color, form, textures, um, and that's your challenge. Now I want you to upload your work because whoever uploads their work, I will share it on my YouTube channel. I'm looking for quality of work. I'm looking for interesting ideas. And I, I know this is a challenge because you have to use whatever you have at home. If you, It's okay that you don't have paint, but I know that you might have some crayons. It doesn't even have to be very colorful as you can see with George Morrison's work. Sometimes it's very limited in color scheme. So that's your challenge. Upload it to the Google form and I will see you guys next week.